Hi, this is Scott Milliken. I'm the lead developer for the OpenDCIM project. Today we're going to talk about device templates and how they can save you a lot of trouble or a lot of effort uh, as you're entering repetitive devices into your data center. Uh, device templates are uh, managed through the Edit Device Templates screen, as you can see on the left-hand side here. So we'll just click on that, and um, you have to have a manufacturer, uh, which is entered separately through the um, Edit Manufacturer screen. Um, but uh, basically, we will put in a new manufacturer here because we don't have uh, HP. That's what we're going to use as our test here. Uh, in the current list, so we'll just put in a manufacturer of HP, and uh, we can then create device templates out of uh, this uh, setup. So as you can see, we don't have any templates defined at all. That's why all it shows is new template. Uh, we select our manufacturer. In this case, it'll be HP, and we'll just put in a let's say a DL385G7. Okay, that's a pretty common. Uh, modern day server as of 2013, um, you put in the number of rack units that it is high. So um, that's a 2 uh, RU device. And then something that's actually pretty important to put in is the weight. Um, now obviously depending upon what accessories you put in, how many hard drives, etc., that's going to change the weight, but you should go ahead and put in, um, in my recommendation, the largest weight that you should pro that you could possibly run into. Um, I'm just making something up here. Let's say 75 pounds is the worst case scenario. The reason why this is important is because we calculate not only the center of gravity um, of a cabinet so that you know whether or not it's top heavy, um, but we also keep track of um, how much total weight you have in your cabinet because your floor may you know, be limited to uh, holding just a, uh, a certain amount. Um, wattage, you'll want to put in whatever um, you see as a typical usage. Um, depending on how you utilize your hardware, um, it's certainly going to draw a different level. It, you know, a DL385G7 may pull 150 watts for one person and 375 for another. Um, so we'll just say 325 watts here. Um, you'll specify what type of device it is. Um, it can be a server, it can be an appliance, it could be a storage array, it could be a switch, a chassis, a patch panel, or a physical infrastructure. Now, um, you'll notice these um, types are uh, pretty much embedded into the software. You can't really change them. Um, that's because they uh, create different behavior based upon what you set up. So, for example, if you choose a switch, then um, based upon the number of ports that you tell it, it's going to give you a grid that allows you to enter your switch port connections. If you put in a patch panel, it gives you a two-sided grid because patch panels have a rear connection and a front connection that you have to map out. Um, so this is a server, so we're just going to leave it at a server, and we're going to say it has two power supplies and um, number of ports isn't really important for a server um, or an appliance. It's mainly uh, important for switches and patch panels, those things that you're going to make connections um, to as the destination. Um, but this is a good way to kind of keep track of, let's say, you know, we've got a, um, um, an integrated lights out management port. We've got two Ethernet ports built in. We've got two SAN ports. Uh, and then we've got maybe a 10 gig Ethernet port. So that's six ports right there. Um, you could you could have any number that uh, that makes sense for you. So now we have a, an HP DL385G7 defined. So if we go into our one of our cabinets and we decide that we want to create a device, we can now pull up the HP DL385G7 as a template. And you'll notice that it went ahead and filled in the majority of these fields here. So now we know that it's to use, and we can simply pick positions one and two to place this device. Uh, that's pretty much setting up device templates in a nutshell. Um, I will do another video that talks about um, power strip or CDU templates and uh, we'll do a demonstration of those as well. Thanks a lot.